Okay, I just got this integral from threads. And if you guys have any calculus one or calculus two questions, feel free to ask me questions on thread. I will try my best to help you guys. But here we are going to integrate one over x squared times x squared plus one raised to the three half power. Well, the hint right here is that notice here inside we have x squared plus one, and also the power here is three over two. And holding all, the top right here is just one, right? The one is kind of lonely. This is a standard problem to use trig substitution. And now we have to think about what trig function squared plus one will give us another trig function squared. The answer is, well, right here, tangent theta. So the first move is to set x equal to tangent theta and then differentiate both sides and the derivative of tangent theta. You can check on my back you get secant squared theta d theta. And now let's just plug in everything into the original integral. So on the bottom, this right here is tangent squared theta, and then times this right here again, tangent squared theta, and then plus one, and then raised to the three over two power like this. Let me just write this down better for you guys. And then on the top, we have 1 times dx, right? But dx is this. I'm just going to write it down. Secant squared theta. And let me also put on d theta here. Now, the simplification comes right here. This right here is the same as secant squared theta. And then we still have to raise this to the 3 half power. And now notice that we can multiply the powers together. And of course, this 2 and that 2 will cancel. So on the bottom, we just have secant to the third power theta. And on the top, we have secant squared theta. So we can cancel them out. So the result will be, we will just have a one on the top over this right here. And then we'll cancel two, cancel two of them out. So we just have one more. So secant to the first power theta. Now, how are we going to handle this integral? Hmm. Unfortunately, both the secant and tangent square, they are on the bottom. So maybe it's a good idea to work with sine cosine instead, right? So let's just go ahead and change that. All right, we have the integral. 1 over tangent squared, it's the same as cotangent squared, which is the same as cosine squared theta over sine squared theta. And then 1 over secant theta is just cosine theta. And now this is actually really good because, oops, sorry, I just noticed that I need a square here. Because we already have a cosine theta d theta right here. So now, if we can write the first part as an expression in terms of sine theta only, then we can just do a regular use up. Very nice, huh? On the bottom, we already have sine squared theta. Good. On the top, we have cosine squared, though. But it's okay. We can change that. This is the same as 1 minus sine squared theta. So let's make the change. And then, as we can see, this part is just an expression in terms of sine theta. So now we can just go ahead and take a use up let u equal to just sine to the first power, take the derivative both sides, du equals the derivative of sine theta is cosine theta d theta. As you can see, we have this right here waiting for us. Now, we just have to take this integral to the u world to solve it. Integral. All right, we have 1 over sine squared theta. That's just the same as 1 over u squared. And then this over that is just 1, so we have minus 1. And then this part is just nicely equal to du. Well, let's just integrate it. For the first part, when we integrate u squared on the bottom, it's the same as u to the negative 2. So let's go ahead and add 1. We get negative 1 for the power. And then divided by the new power, we get this. So we have negative u to the negative 1, which is the same as 1 over u. 
and then integrating minus 1 in the u world, we get minus u. Done for the integration. Well, we are not there yet though for the answer because we still have to go back to the x world. And as you can see, for this question, not only we did a trick substitution, but we also did a u substitution. Yeah, pretty cool in my opinion. And some people might say, hey, black and red pen, please put a plus C here. In my opinion, it's okay. For definite integrals, you can just put the plus C at the very end, right? As long as you are not solving differential equations, don't worry too much about that. But if a teacher really wants you to put on a plus C right after an integration step, then just go ahead and put on the plus C. Right. Anyways, all right, one, negative one over U is sine theta minus this is sine theta. Okay, so we got back to the U world. And how do we get back to the X world? Look at this equation. We know tangent theta is equal to X. And we can put the X as X over one. This way, we can draw a right triangle. This is the right triangle method. Let's put the theta here. Tangent is what on the right triangle? Opposite over adjacent X over one. And to figure out the hypotenuse, all we have to do is open the square root. For the hypotenuse, we are going to have this squared plus that squared, and one squared just one. And now we can just look at this picture and then figure out the, this is really cosecant theta and then sine theta. So we will have negative. This right here becomes what? Hypotenuse over opposite. So we have square root x squared plus 1 over x. And then minus sine theta is just this over that. And then we are all done now. Finally, just put on plus C. Whew, this is it.